हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज रोहित शंकर माने एंड यू आर वाचिंग साइंटिस्ट आर एकेडमी टू वर्ड साइंटिफिक वर्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द शुगर फर्मेंटेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर एम देयर मैकेनिज्म देयर प्रिंसिपल रिक्वायरमेंट्स प्रोसीजर एंड एट द एंड वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड द रिजल्ट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर लेक्चर so first our aim is to determine the ability of microorganisms to ferment the carbohydrates now see there are different types of carbohydrates present in the nature but each and every microorganism can ferment the each and every carbohydrate that's what the carbohydrate is specific for the each and every microorganism so that ability that ability that fermentation ability of microorganisms we have to check through the sugar fermentation test now here the requirements are culture that is microbial culture pepton water which contains sugar and the reagents are required andrade's reagent is required which is around uh, ph 5 to 8 phenol rate the ph 6.8 to 8.4 and bromothymol blue ph 5.2 to 6.28 and the apparatuses are autoclave membrane filter incubator and hot air oven the autoclave is required for the sterilization of media and other stuff membrane filtration is required for the filtration incubator is required uh, for the incubation of the microorganisms and hot or oven is required for the uh, uh, what to say that the drying purpose now what is the principle now see the many microorganisms species obtain their energy through enzymatic reactions leading to the oxidation of the substrate mainly carbohydrates mainly these carbohydrates are utilized by the microorganisms depending on their enzyme complement some organisms are capable of fermenting the sugars while others use aerobic pathway in fermentation carbohydrates such as in fermentation substrates such as carbohydrates undergo anaerobic dissimilation and produces organic acid and gases now see we are familiar with the we are familiar with the enzyme plus substrate which gives us product so this is a simple funda which is used in the fermentation and the microbes use this funda during the fermentation and they gives us product now see here if you have a substrate so on that substrate enzyme should act then and then only the substrate will gives us product so each and every microorganism is specific in their action that that is action that is enzymes are specific in their action so that's what we have to check the ability of microorganism that which uh, carbohydrates will be fermented by the specific microorganism presence of organic acid is identify the color change and gas is bubbles in their hands too now see what we are going to observe at the end of the reaction that we have to observe the color change in the uh, uh, solution and the bubble formation or the gas formation the durham stroop if you got the color change then we are going to say that there is a fermentation or and uh, the, that is the organic acid production or if you got the gas or bubbles or some space in the durham stroop then we are going to say that there is production of gas let's see what is the procedure now first we have to prepare 10 ml of pepton water and in that we have to add 1 ml of sugar solution that is interested sugar solution and in that we have to add 1 ml of andrade's reagent then we have to keep one small durham stroop inside the culture tube that would, that would be inverted position containing without air bubble then we have to add microbial culture and we have to incubate it at 37 degrees for 24 hours then we have to observe for the acid production and gas production in the tube now see this is the actual observation after the procedure now here we can easily see the color change in all tube that red and pink color or sorry, yellow color so yellow color indicates that presence that taste is positive and the red color indicate taste is negative so here the organic acid production is indicated by the color change while gas production is indicated by the bubble in the hams tube so this is what the sugar fermentation test the sugar is varied from the uh, our protocol and we have to perform this with the help of this protocol only so this is all about the sugar fermentation test how we can observe the fermentation of carbohydrates So thanks a lot guys